I start with these unfinished wood rectangle pieces. I get them from Hobby Lobby. They come in a pack and I paid about $3.99 for them. I started by painting all of them with dry time from Wise Owl Paint and I did seven. I then used some unfinished Dollar Tree letters and I painted the word harvest using Wise Owl Black. I set all that aside to dry. I got this sunflower from Dollar General. It was $1.50. And I just used my metal shears. Um, I also have some bolt clippers that probably would have worked better. And I just took the stake off of the sunflower. So then I had to glue the center of the sunflower back on. So I did that using some E6000. And of course, if you can find a metal sunflower where you don't have to remove anything, that would be great. I got these metal corn stalks. I'm sure you've seen these at the Dollar Tree. And I cut them about an inch below the green leaves. And then I took some E6000 and I glued the two pieces together. And I allowed that to dry for a few hours. Once that was dry, I took my sunflower and then I used some of the E6000 to glue the sunflower to the center of the two corn stalks. And then I allowed that to dry too. I took this wooden dowel and I glued the seven wooden pieces that we painted in the dry time across the entire wooden dowel. I did have to trim it, and this is also when I used my bolt cutter. And then I took all of the letters that we had painted, and I glued those to the front of each rectangle. And I used some hot glue. Once the E6000 was dry, I took these berry sprays. I got them from Hobby Lobby. They were $1.99, and then you also get 40% off of the fall decor. And the stem on these sprays have a wire in them, so I was able to just wrap it around, and then I just secured it in place with some more floral wire. And I did the same to the left side. I'm just wrapping it around one of the leaves and then using some of the green floral wire to secure it in place. And you can hide all this wire underneath the metal leaf. I then took my furniture salve and I just gave my harvest sign a top coat of the salve. And here I'm using my two inch palm brush. And then I just took a white cotton sock to just rub in the salve. I'm then going to need two pieces of jute. And I started by tying one in the top left underneath the metal corn. And then I'm going to hang the harvest about a foot below my corn stalks. So I flipped everything over and I trimmed the jute to the right size and using some hot glue, I just attached it to the back side. And I did the same thing to the other side. And now you can put some wooden beads on these hangers, you can use some ribbon, but I just went with the plain jute. And then I just tied a small piece of jute to the back of the sunflower, and this is going to be the hanger. 
And there we go. Now we just have this harvest wall hanging. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Paint products can be found on our webpage at chocolateupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can check out some other tutorials over on our YouTube or our webpage. Have a great day.